Every seat is equipped with a safety belt which can fasten and open it this way. War in Afghanistan comes and goes with the seasons. Winter pushes the combatants into hiding, and the arrival of spring signals the beginning of what is known as the fighting season. We will be able to remove a total of 33,000 troops from Afghanistan by next summer. With the transfer of power to the Afghan National Army, 2013's fighting season was the one that would reveal how prepared Afghanistan's army would be in keeping the Taliban at bay. Several months before the start of the fighting season, we traveled to Kandahar, the second largest city in Afghanistan and the last major city NATO reclaimed from Taliban control. We wanted to see what the Afghan National Army, or ANA, was doing to prepare its troops for the coming summer months. It would be the first time that the Afghan soldiers would be operating without their American or British counterparts. Major General Abdul Hamid is the leader of the 205th Corps. He was a former Mujahideen fighter who was imprisoned during the Taliban reign and has since risen to become the highest ranking military officer in the South. In 2011, he was a target of a failed assassination attempt. Explosives were placed under his chair during a graduation ceremony and detonated only moments after he stood up to hand out the students' degrees. یعنی شما فهم می‌کنین این جنگ داخلی که خیلی دارن الان بررسی می‌کنن و راجبش راقا رسانه‌ها خیلی راجبش میگن اما یه یه گپی هم که هست که راجب 2014 حالا فقط این که برگشت طالبان ما به مردم خود اطمینان میدیم که 2014 و آمدن طالبان نبود که دم اول آمد مردم میفهمه که 2014 یک به باوجود کردن حکومت داری خوب که ولایات We arrived at the 205th Corps, situated 25 miles outside Kandahar city, where 54,000 soldiers are stationed out of the approximate 370,000 Afghan national forces. We <laughs> 2014 اینا باز ماندن و اینمی به سوادی مردم اکدمانی مردم با اصلاح زندگی بسیار ابتدایی مردم باعث ازی شده که اکثرا تبلیغات دشمن بالا از اینا تأثیر داشته باشه. In 2013, it was estimated that Afghanistan's literacy rate was about 28%. The U.S. had spent approximately $200 million on programs to educate the Afghan National Army, but around half of them are still reading below a first grade level. 
در تمام افغانستان اردوی ملی مستقر است در سی و چار ولد افغانستان Where these troops will be stationed depends on both the recruits' level of training and the requirements of commanders of local bases, like this one in Argandop. تا حالا نشده از بیرون اینجا مثلا از اون بر حمله باشه به داخل؟ هیچ بیخی کاملا مطمئن باشین از کابل قدر آرام است. The ANA conducts constant patrols, stopping and searching everyone who passes by. But somehow the locals don't seem to complain. Either they've just gotten used to this, or it actually provides them with some sense of security. The Argonaut is known for its pomegranate fields. So when you do foot patrols, it's so easy for the enemy to kind of hide behind trees or kind of lie down in the field and just like kind of come up and attack. But when we went on this patrol, it seemed like, like everything was fine. There was kids running around. There wasn't any alarming sign of danger. Three years ago, Americans were killed on a similar patrol just across the field. They're saying you can see the difference now. They interact with the villagers more, and that it technically is, according to them, much safer. There's a person praying. And, uh, and I asked a soldier once if like, you know, when they do all these patrols with all this gear and they're going through all these farmlands, you know, some guys like farming, I'm like, don't they get scared? Like here you are farming, there's a guy with a soldier suddenly appears, you know? And he's like, no, no, farmers are happy that we're, we're doing this. And then when we spoke to the people like, oh, how do you feel? They're like, oh, that's, that's fine. Or, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. That said, these regular foot patrols are a constant reminder to residents here that they still live in a war zone. Soldiers who were severely wounded in that war find their way to the Kandahar Military Hospital, if they're lucky. It's the only well-equipped facility in the southern region and serves the six surrounding provinces with little medevac support. الان تقریبا هم به همون شکل شده که فعلا همون شکل اصلا کاملا ما کنیست یک یا دو نفر به صفت مشاور با کماندان و روختون موجود است ولی بیشتر کار تو وصول دکتر سیوا و پرسنل خود مصورت میگیرم بس مجرونی که میان اینجا بیشتر مثلا از مین است از حالا بیشتر فعلا مجرونی که ما داریم بیشتر اوقات واقعات مین است میکانزم ترومه شایدی بلست است قد دراماتی که پای چپ است چی شد حادثه که باز توی تا پا توی شد؟ خد بین جنگ برگز با بودیم نفر من این پانه پیش احمد تیر شد مرا پای سری اومد این بالا کرد که شفاخون شفاخونی نظامی هست ولی ما برای پولیس اردوی ملی، امنیت ملی کیس های آجل این مرگنسی را ما می پسیدیم It seems the hospital doesn't just treat members of the Afghan National Army They treat their enemies in the Taliban as well Taliban می بینیم سنگه ایسه جور ایسه خیلی خیلی ساعت مخدسه دیگه اینجا کامود بد نزیواز بود دکتر سیبای جرده ایز در تزیبی ازی دست بکار شدم این خدمتی که ما برای یک سرباز خود کردیم این خدمت برای ازی کردیم و برنا الان که حالشون بهتر شده میخوان بعدش چیکار کنن یعنی میرم به چه سمتی سوی چی پلان داری بعد ازی دا اوست جور سی بخیر چیزی کرده سه پلان داری پس لقنه والا کنی فنی سکلندر. دست پلندر. لندادش خبر خدمت Let's 
This army is 12 years old. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a baby, really. And there was a huge amount of training, and there was a lot of push to get this army rolling and, you know, fighting instantly. You know, they seem confident, but it remains to be seen how well their preparations will hold up once the bullets begin to fly. Can't wait for this boy to learn karma. Can't wait for this boy to learn karma.